Hey, what's up guys? TJ Cozen here. Final walkthrough video of this amazing North Dallas house inside the loop. I actually already signed closing docs this morning in the office. Let's go over the numbers real quick one last time for the refresher. We bought this thing, 320. You don't know if that's a good price or a bad price, so that doesn't matter for you. Uh, we put two, uh, over two into it, 225, 235, I don't know. We haven't figured it out exactly yet. A lot of money. You don't know if that's good or not, right? Uh, sales price, this is what makes those other two numbers a good purchase or a bad purchase. Sales price, 725, closing today, hopefully funding tomorrow, that'd be nice. Uh, but are we happy with the deal? Absolutely, absolutely. We would 100% do this again. We've done a series of videos on this property, quite a few as a matter of fact, because we do a lot of stuff in the 200, the 300, even you know the 400, 450 price range. But when we get up to 725 ARV on properties like this, well, we have some fun with it because we're doing a different level of construction work, probably past the 400 range. We're really, you know, we're trying to set some records and we're really elevating the quality of work and the scope of work too. So when I say quality of work, we're never compromising on doing what we do correctly and doing a great job doing it. But the product selection, the material selection, what we decide to do and what we decide not to do are really two different things at these different price points. At this house, I mean, to be honest, you could almost call it new construction, right? A, a ton of framing, a ton of walls moved, spray foam insulation, all new drywall, all the way throughout. Obviously new texture, new paint, new four inch. I love the floors, they turned out great. We actually had an event here on Wednesday last week. So this is uh, Monday. We had an event here where we did an open house with a bunch of local investors talking about our product and we hadn't put the final coat on the floors yet. So it wasn't until Saturday that I actually even saw these floors all the way finished out. Again, this is Monday, the buyers, well, if they're doing it right, they should be signing actually like a half hour ago. So they should be done, they should be wrapping up. So we sold the house off market for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, remember we'd had it listed before. So we had offers that would have made us about 75 to $80,000. Pretty good payday, right? Pretty good payday. And then we got greedy. We said, you know, we have a mid-century modern, gorgeous house in North Dallas, inside the loop, in a high price point, a high IR, ARV area, with a really funky floor plan that's gonna take a lot of work if we fix it. But we think the payoff is gonna be worth it. The process for selling it off market was because it had been on the market before, it now shows as a canceled listing with my wife being the listing agent. Not bad. So high demand area, a couple of agents cold called my wife and said, hey, what's going on with this house that's, uh, that has a canceled listing? I said, hey, it's almost done. We're about to wrap up. What do you guys, uh, I mean, what do you guys think? It said they've been looking here for a while. Wife was pregnant, want to move into their forever home. So I did a private showing, something we don't do very often. They came out. I said, we're gonna list it right below seven with the intention of hopefully getting bid up. We'll see where we can go. And I flat out said the highest we're likely to go probably is like probably 750-ish. But you, you know, and I know, to get 750, it needs to be all the way done, 100%. It's gonna take another two, two and a half months with these last little punch list items. It's gonna have to be staged. It's gonna have to be negotiated. We're looking at maybe a 45 to 60 day close, depending on who the buyer is. So it's always a gamble. They just flat out asked, what's the buy it now price? I said, you know, if you came at us with 725 and didn't ask for a bunch of bullshit, we'd probably take it, we'd probably take it. And we decided to take it because of all those reasons, because it compressed our timeline just a couple months. Our carrying cost on this house is about 3,500 bucks. So we're saving some money there. Our staging cost would be probably about $5,000. Uh, and this house deserves to be staged. It deserves to be shown that way um, because it looks beautiful, but that's why we did what we did. And it's a good deal all the way around. Now the work, I'm not gonna talk a lot about the free work because you guys can see from the videos in the description below, a ton of work. Let's do a final walkthrough video. Just talk about the final product just a little bit. So living room, kitchen, Carrera marble on the countertops. So actually over here, I like this. I don't know if we've highlighted this. We have a dry bar with a fridge and a custom built wine rack. The idea is you'll notice the wood either comes in one of two colors, floor color, which is a gray with a brown, a nice warm color, or this brown that we really think ties it all in together. I think it looks really good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Let's go take a look at the master or primary. You wanna be PC, I'm not gonna judge, uh, down this way. Now the style of this house is called a ranch house. Really popular in Texas and especially in North Texas. Ranch means big, long hallways like this, 
all one all one level, so no upstairs, and just a just one level house. It's a gorgeous house. The style of the house is called mid century modern. So the things that are mid century modern, kind of classical, are a lot of square lines, square base trim, our square solid pour doors. I wish you guys could feel these things when we close them because they're solid. Uh, the square lines on the knobs, this kind of stuff, all the square, but it really ties in together and really looks really warm when you see it in person. Uh, we like to call it kind of mid-century modern with like a, like, like, I don't know, revival or mid-century modern with a modern twist, right? Because mid-century modern also has pink bathtubs, shag carpet, covered up floors with, sh with the shag carpet. Yeah. So we're bringing it to the next level and I think it turned out great. Let's take a look at the master bathroom. If this doesn't sell the house, I don't know what does. If you've seen some of my other videos, I've never been in the shower before. So even in here, you guys, we have the only round lines in the house are probably the round lines on the fixtures, the mirrors are rounded in the corners, and these little guys right here, which is actually a pretty cool choice. We talked about this for a while, but I think it turned out well. It really complements it, and as long as the product, material, and selection matches well with everything going on, it ties it all together, it brings it together, and looks really good. Even our drain, our drain is square. That's cool. I, I think it's cool. Let's wrap this up in the backyard. I'll meet you guys out there, like, real quick, real quick. What's up guys, talking again about the lines of this house, massive glass walls. So when you're inside, it's almost an inside outside living area. Uh, outside deck is a point of contention amongst my, my buddy that's helping us do the, do the work. He didn't want the deck, he wanted a slab. I like that you can walk out onto the same level, um, but it changes up the sight lines because the idea also was if you have ground level, a big slab, you can see all the grass and this huge massive backyard. It's not very common, it's not very typical that you get 0.41 acres in Dallas in this kind of neighborhood. So this yard is huge. The deck is uh, something that the buyers actually requested. It's the one thing they requested and they gave us a little bit more money to do it. So we're like, you know what, for that, we'll, we'll build you guys a deck. Because fundamentally, it's about the buyer's experience and the buyer's use of the property. They absolutely love it. We love the product, we love the process. Uh, do we love the property? To be honest, we can't love the property because we have to love doing the job and doing the recurring process. That's the fun part but it is fulfilling to have something like this turn out really this gorgeous. Shut up, dude. Anyway, it is fulfilling to have something turn out just kind of this gorgeous and this well at the end and still make some money doing it. It's a great job, you guys. Hey, if you wanna see more videos like this, you know what to do, right? Uh, what is it called, smash? Smash the like button, that's what the kids call it. Make sure you subscribe. And if you really want to, turn on the notifications so you can see more videos like this. We do a ton of videos. We do a lot of work in the North Texas area and some business development stuff. It's all there. I look forward to seeing you guys on the flip side. God, that's corny. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.